you've ever valued a relationship whether it's like a friendship family members whatever it may be so much to the point where you're just like scared to lose them and that fear has cost you your own self-respect where you're willing to tolerate certain disrespect and behavior just because you don't want to lose a relationship or maybe because you're you know you're scared of setting boundaries because you're scared of rejection what what might people say if you start standing up for yourself you know will they stick around will they tolerate it and i've been there before i know what it feels like to be on that side but i also changed my mindset and changed basically how i set up boundaries around me to essentially not be afraid of losing people in my life because i realized that i'm not really losing them they're losing me and it's not coming from like a cocky ego place it's a matter of like i'm so in tune with myself and i know what i offer and what i bring to the table and i know how i bring the best out of people that are around me to the point where you know if i hold you accountable or i respect myself and my space and how people kind of treat me and you don't like that or it becomes i don't know too much for you and you leave it's your loss so we're gonna get into kind of you know my transition as well as you being here means that you might either relate to what i'm dealing with or you're in the same place where i'm at in terms of just recognizing that in the season that you're in you know you don't really care about holding on to relationships because sometimes the things that you're holding on to are exactly what's holding you back i remember being in a season where i was so scared of losing people that I was willing to sacrifice my own self-respect. If anything, sacrifice my own needs just to keep certain relationships around me. And the amount of just emotional wear and tear it had on me was insane. I didn't know who I was. My identity and, and, and just self-love and self-worth was directly contingent, directly related to my relationships around me. And if someone rejected me or was mad at me or the relationship was on the rocks, even if it was like an intimate relationship, it left me lost. It left me upset. So my emotions were completely controlled by other people and other relationships. And that's not a place to be. And the moment I just started getting more into myself and realizing that I have so much to offer and that I shouldn't be holding on to the fear of losing people and sacrificing my own needs and who I am, for even unhealthy relationships, whether it's showing up to parties or just, you know, doing things that didn't align with my soul and my spirit, I realized letting go of that fear was just so empowering because when you're not scared of things, then you end up being so fearless of being so un so being so authentically yourself. You know, you become just so fearless and so you and that energy just it resonates so differently people start seeing you differently you start naturally getting more respect from people around you because of how you carry yourself you're not worried about losing relationships you're just you're not even worried period you're just being yourself you're just being you and that energy comes off very differently it's a matter of kind of like having that scarcity energy where you're holding on and clenching on to people people can sense that even from like an intimate relationship to having that abundant type of energy where people just gravitate around you because you seem as though you don't need anything from anyone. You're so in tune with yourself. That happiness and joy, that light that comes off of you is from within because you've been putting in that work. And honestly, how I got to that point is <laughs> I had to hit rock bottom in order to get there. And strengthening your relationship with God, strengthening your relationship with Christ, strengthening your faith, whatever you believe in, naturally just strengthens your own self identity your self worth because you start being more in tune with your purpose which ultimately when you start recognizing your purpose and your gifts and your values that were placed inside of you since birth you start realizing your own value and you don't need anybody when you have god in your corner you have christ in your corner so that was like my turning point. When I hit rock bottom, I felt hopeless. And I realized that the reason why I hit rock bottom is because I had to realize that God was the rock at the bottom. And that hit different. Because at that point, it was only up from there. And I started really tapping into my gifts, tapping into my purpose, tapping into the reason why I was placed on this earth, which is to leave people better than how I found them. 
and I don't need to keep people in my life. As long as I, even if it's just 1%, slightly better than when we cross paths, I did my purpose. I did my, my, my God-given gift. So that was the turning point for me when I realized that I have something to offer. I bring things to the table. I don't need to force people to sit down with me. I can have a whole meal by myself at my own table. And if anything, it's a, it's a gift to allow people to sit down at my table to eat with me, not in a egotistical type of way, just being so confident in what you bring to the table and recognizing that if you naturally make people better when you're around, when, you mat when you're naturally just a breath of fresh air, then you, you recognize your own value of your presence, so you won't just be anywhere. You recognize the value of your words, so you won't just say anything to anyone. You recognize the value of your thoughts, so you don't just think anything. And when people around you don't see your value, and they do things to jeopardize it, or they just walk out of your life, it hits different because you realize it's it's not your loss, it's theirs. And that's That's real. And I'm so grateful for every single person I've crossed paths with. And at some point, whether it's then or later or whenever it may be, I know if I did the best I possibly could to try to keep the relationship alive or just keep myself in proximity, whatever it may be, and they are no longer in my story, in my chapter, there's a reason for that. Maybe they were just a lesson. I was just a lesson to their story. And there's no hate. There's no resentment. There's, it's nothing but love. But I know what I brought to the table. I know the light that God placed inside of me. And that's, that's all I really have to say on that, you know? And you bring value to the table. You bring something special in every single interaction that you, that you engage in. Recognize that. When you speak, you're not just saying words. When, you, when you're present somewhere, you're not just there. It's not just a body. You, energy is not created or destroyed. You bring some type of energy. You bring something. You look at it from that perspective. And you start, you start, when you change the things you look at and the things you look at change. You change your, your, the way you look at relationships. You change, you know, your, the, the, the way you value time and, and the people that you allow to share your energy. You start looking at it from like a, a sacred perspective. Like I need to protect my energy. I can't just give this to anybody. That's, that's real life. And you, and you gotta be so grateful for the gift that God placed inside of you. You have to be okay with losing people. Because the truth is, you're not losing them, they're losing you. So be okay with that. Look at it from exactly what it is. Don't allow your broken heart, don't allow your fears to lie to you and tell you that you're losing anything. You're being freed. If they walk out of your life, they didn't, they didn't see the value that you really brought to the table. And they took your presence for granted. So allow them to suffer the consequences of your absence. They're gonna feel you missing when your energy is no longer there, when they no longer get that fresh breath, the air, that light. They'll feel it, believe me. So all in all, be very aware of who you allow in your life. Stand firm on your boundaries because every decision you make, every single person you allow into your life is either bringing you closer or further away from where you ultimately want to become, the person you ultimately want to be. And when you look at decisions like that, when you look at people like that, you start really looking at it from a different lens. You start being more intentional as to who you speak to, how you speak to them, and where you allow your time to be allocated. So I want you to take a moment and just reflect on all your relationships friendships, family members, even intimate partners in the past or who you plan on attracting and allowing in the future. And really take a moment to think, are there, are there relationships that you're holding on to, whether it's out of fear or just convenience or just, you know, I've known them for so long. Don't make a bad decision or make a mistake or keep doing it just because you've done it for so long. That's not a good excuse. Just because you're used to it doesn't mean that you're supposed to keep doing it. So just reflect and think about that. And when you do the harder things in life, life becomes easy, whether it's cutting ties, cutting relationships, or just protecting your energy.
People start noticing you when you start moving different. And by different, I don't mean acting different in a negative sense, but when you start protecting your energy more, when you start staying in your lane, but you're still shining bright and, ha- and just having so much happiness in your own lane, people will start hopping into that lane trying to, trying to be part of the show. Because if you can have that much fun by yourself, people want to have that type of ha- happiness. It's just contagious. They say misery loves company, but so does success and happiness. So be that. I just want to say thank you so much for just listening to all this. Uh, I'm going to do more videos like this. Subscribe. Comment below your favorite parts and what you relate to. And, and you know, what type of value you walked away f- from with this video. And drop some video suggestions moving forward. Because I'm so down to do more of these. And when it's all said and done in this personal development journey. And this journey of just being firm within yourself. You'll be so grateful for it. So thank you so much for watching all this. And I hope you have a better rest of your day. Peace from these.